Hello and welcome to my warning about nappy sacks. Now, nappy sacks are disposable. They're often perfumed. They're plastic bags where you put your soiled and dirty nappies after you've changed your baby. Now, they tend to be made of very thin coloured plastic. And nappy sacks have recently been identified as causing suffocation and choking of some babies under one years old. Now authorities in the UK have become aware of at least 18 deaths associated with individual nappy sacks. And the typical scenario associated with these deaths is that the nappy sacks are stored within the baby's reach. Because of, obviously you keep them close by the baby's cot or the changing mat. And also some people keep them underneath the baby's um, changing mattress. Now this method of storage is naturally often very convenient for you and in some cases unfortunately the nappy sacks have been left too near or in the baby's cot for ease and speed of changing the baby's nappy, particularly in the night. So these loose nappy sacks are within easy reach of babies. Now this is very dangerous. Parents and carers are generally unaware of the dangers posed by plastic bags of these plastic sacks. We're all aware that plastic bags are dangerous, but we don't often think these colorful little nappy sacks are very dangerous, but we don't often think about where we're storing them. So after watching Eamon and Ruth on Do The Right Thing on TV, it's a campaign to raise awareness. And I thought I'd just join in because it's very important that you know the dangers Babies are at particular risk of suffocation and choking from these plastic nappy sacks for a number of reasons. Because, of course, a baby or a, a, an older baby can't understand the risks associated with their actions. Of course not. Now, they just want to explore the world around them. And among other actions, seeing something colourful and making a rattly sound sounds and looks quite interesting. So of course they may put them to their mouth because that's where they put everything when they're experiencing uh, and learning as babies. But of course they don't have the manual dexterity then to remove this thin plastic covering if it gets stuck in their mouth or over their face. So just get into that habit to put them completely out of reach every single time and tell your partner and tell your caregivers the same information. This is not being scaremongering, this is just about being safe. So put them in a high drawer away from your baby. Don't stop using them if you want to, it's fine, but just make sure you're aware that your baby can't reach them as they grow and change. So until next time, take care.